When I was um, uh, governor, we lived in a governor's residence, which was provided by the state, and had a very large clock in the front um, foyer, foyer. And it was, um, it was broken, and uh, I hired a clockmaker to come see if he could fix it. And uh, while he was there, my daughter, who was at the time about nine years old, was fascinated by the inside of the clock, and he began to show her how it worked. And he said, uh, take your fingers and try to move all those little gears. And, and uh, she took her little hands and tried to move the gears, and they were, of course, all uh, uh, caught. And he said, now grab the big one. And uh, she took one about the size of a bike sprocket and moved it to the left and then to the right. And he said, what happens to the rest? And she said, well, they all move when you do that. I think what we're looking to identify in this initiative are what are the big gears that would allow us to move all the small ones. Mm -hmm. Frankly, CEO pay is a small gear. For sure. But if you could begin to move the big gear, which might be making available the kinds of tools that Zoe has just enumerated to thousands of people, millions of people in a way that we couldn't before, suddenly we're going to become transformatively competitive on a global scale, and there will be a lot more CEOs and a lot more right. workers. So what are the big gears? And I think we would agree that both technology and education and making available on a global basis, uh, those are, are among the big gears.